it's Carrie from the Female Entrepreneur Association. Have you ever come up with an amazing idea and then had no clue whatsoever how you're going to make it happen? I think this is something that probably most entrepreneurs experience at some point or another, because I most certainly have. When I came up with the idea to create the magazine, I had no clue how I was going to do it. I just didn't know at all. But the problem is, is that when you end up feeling like you don't know what to do, it can often lead to procrastination and end up stuck in this analysis paralysis where you analyse the problem so much that you never actually make progress. And the thing is, it can often lead people to be feeling like they're not good enough. Because I think often we feel like we have to know the answers to everything. And when we don't know the answers, we end up beating ourselves up about it. And the thing is, the more we beat ourselves up about it, the more self-belief we lose. And the more self-belief we lose, the more we start to think that we're not actually going to make it happen. So then we never make it happen. And it's such a shame. So I want to share with you my five steps for what to do when you don't have a clue and how it's gonna help you to actually start to make progress. Every time I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, I use these five steps and they seriously help me to make progress. So step number one is accepting that it's okay to not have a clue. I think this is one of the biggest problems and once you get over this hurdle, everything is so much easier. The thing is, most people don't have a clue what they're doing when they're starting in business or when they come up with new ideas. I reckon if you asked most entrepreneurs out there if they knew what they really needed to do when they got started, I reckon they'll tell you that they didn't know what they were doing. Because we don't, it's an adventure and it's all part of you have to learn, but we feel like we should know the answers and if we don't know the answers that we're not good enough. So by accepting that it's okay not to know all the answers and to not have a clue, we kind of relieve ourselves of the problem and then once it's not, then it's not a problem, you don't have to focus on it anymore and you can shift your focus to something more productive, like what you can actually do. So step two is ask questions. Ask as many people as many questions as possible, make a list of all the answers you need to know, of all the things you need to figure out, and then go and find someone that can help you. Because even if you don't know what the answer is, someone, somewhere, will know the answer to your problem and will be willing to help you. Start by asking your friends and family, go and ask them, they might know someone that could help you. Go to networking events and ask people, and the thing is not to be afraid of asking, not to be ashamed of asking for help. Ask as many things, as many questions as possible. One of my friends actually wanted to set up a spa, but she didn't have a clue how she was going to do it. So she contacted some local spas run by women and asked them if she could go and meet with them and get some advice. And they said yes, because people love to be asked for advice. So she met up with them for a day and they gave her all the advice about what it takes to set up a spa. So just make a list of all the people who you think could help you and reach out to them. Step three is to learn. This is something you can do right now, today. Every single one of us can do this. Learn as much as possible. Take the time to invest in developing yourself. Go and read books, go and buy audio programs, go on courses, go on seminars, attend webinars, do online classes, do whatever appeals to you, whatever's gonna help you to build the knowledge to help you to figure out how you're gonna achieve your goals. It's so unbelievably crucial and I think so many of us forget to actually learn. In the mornings, I get up earlier in order to spend time reading books and learning and investing time in myself. Just make sure you do it. It's something that you can start doing today and it doesn't have to be expensive. Go on Google. There is a mass of free information out there that can help you. Or go on LinkedIn. There's a ton of blogs and stuff on there that will help you. There's loads of websites like the website that I run. It's full of information that could help you. Just go and research and find it. Step four is to make a list of all the things that you can do today to get started. There will be at least several things that you can do right now, including things like going and reading books, even if it's making a list of all the books that you want to read. That's doing something. So make a list, sit down and ask yourself, what possible things could I do today to get me started to achieving my goals? So step five is break it down. Break down the things that you can start doing today and put it in a plan. Put it in your daily to-do list and actually do it. Plan to do the tasks that you can actually do. And the thing is, once you plan it and once you discipline yourself to actually do it, you will start to make progress towards achieving your goal. So you might be here now, but if you start to take the little steps, you will be over here really quickly. Whenever I feel stuck, whenever I don't have a clue what I'm doing, which quite frankly is all the time because I'm always trying to achieve new things, I always follow these five steps and it always helps me to get out of that stage of 
procrastinating or focusing on the problem of not knowing what to do and actually gets me to take action. So all you have to do now is actually go out there and do it and take the action. And if you are watching this video now thinking, yeah, but I still don't know really what I'm going to do, stop it. You've got to stop focusing on that problem, on that being an issue. And the thing is, you get to choose your thoughts. And if you're choosing to feel that way and to feel like you don't know how you're going to do it and to feel like it is a massive problem, you're never going to be able to get past it. So you've got to stop thinking that. Choose your thoughts carefully. You want to choose thoughts that are going to help you to make progress, are going to help you to get towards your goals because you can do it. Start focusing on the things that you can do today and everything will change. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did like it then share it and it would be great if you could leave a comment to share your experiences and tips and advice on this topic. I'll see you next time.